as your temperature rises, the shape of the button starts to change. And at minus three degrees centigrade, you've chosen uh, the metal disc changes shape and breaks or makes a circuit and uh, causes the button to go off. Would you have to be particularly careful, Ted, about the build-up of uh, ice on the um, sensor here? Because ice is an insulator and it might throw the whole thing out, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, you would, actually, because uh, just as you say, it is an insulator and uh, we do put on the car that uh, you do make sure that it doesn't build up too much on mm. that. Uh, can you sensor. buy these discs to fire at different temperatures if you wanted it yes, to go? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But, so it would be quite uh, easy to adapt. You know, obviously, for a mass production, uh, yeah. it's better that they are just set for one temperature. I think there are a couple of things here. I wanted to ask also, you have an adhesive material here. Correct. Does it cope with the moisture that does in fact occur? Yes, it does. Very, when you're defrosting? Uh, very adequately. Uh, well, we've had it uh, tested, uh, you know, in our freezer and in other locations, and uh, there's been no problems in that respect. Because there's another... It, sorry, it's a on. slight suction uh, cap effect, so you get a suction effect ah, right. as well as the uh, stickiness. The length of the cable is uh, something that you may have to look at because a lot of people in Australia have freezers in another part of the house and they may wish to have the signal nearer to the kitchen. Well, you would hear that signal all through the house. Would you? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty... Makes what's the noise. delay... Sorry, what's the delay period before the alarm goes off? Obviously, it wouldn't want to go off immediately. You open the door. <laughs> well, if, if you turn the compressor off... Yes. It takes about two and a half hours before that alarm mm. will go off. So the off. door's got to actually be open? No, or, no, or the no, no. Off. It, if the compressor goes off, yes. then yes. you're not getting any cooling from right. that. And uh, <laughs> what you're getting then is that the, the freezer will uh, s uh, be not working and yeah. the sensor will sense the, yeah. the temperature rise, okay. and it takes about two How and a half hours. How much will it cost, Ted? No, yeah. beg your pardon? How, How much? much? How much will it cost? $21. Twenty-one dollars. Twenty-one bucks. Do you want any help marketing it? No. You don't. Terrific. All right, let's have a score then, if we please. Eighty-one. Right. Seventy-eight. Eighty. And that gives a total score of two hundred and thirty-nine. <laughs> ah, central locking, eh? The alloy engine gives great performance and economy. Power steering, good road holding. <laughs> Would you like a test drive, sir? Or should I demonstrate how it converts into a station wagon? The Renault 20TS, at around $15,000, more features than any other car in its class. But when you go for a test drive, take it out of the showroom first. It comes in the night. The pain. Rheumatic pain that can ruin a good night's sleep. That's why we make nighttime strength deep heat. Deep heat. It's our extra strength formula for the temporary relief of arthritic or muscular pain when it can hurt the most. At night, get nighttime strength deep heat. Deep heat. The extra strength formula from the deep heat people. Imagine, imagine, the little you pay to take a top brand away. That's value. That's precious. And that's a National Music Center at a sensational $279. Imagine. And at $599, this big power Toshiba Apex 5 Hi-Fi is amazing value. Imagine. Super sound for only $795 with this Marantz Concerto Hi-Fi. Imagine. That's value. That's precious. Pure and simple, has 101 non-stick uses in your kitchen. But I can only think of 99! We'll be awarding five specialist prizes as well as a big award at the end of the year. And one of these prizes is $6,000 from CIG and the Society for Crippled Children for something to assist the handicapped. And this beautiful trophy will also be a part of that award. One of the other categories is something to assist builders and handyman, and this entry is eligible to be judged in that category. It takes about 10 minutes to install this complete door unit, which can be fitted irrespective of wall thickness. It comes in two sections, joined by dowels. The section, including the door, is placed in the opening and packed as required. Once the door and surround is correctly positioned, 
it's nailed to secure it. A conventional door takes a carpenter about three hours to install. Another advantage is that the walls can be painted before the doors are put in place, saving the bother of using masking tape to protect the frame. Now all that's left is for the second part of the frame to be fitted. This just fits over the dowels. This way, any wall thickness can be accommodated. From Queen Bianca in New South Wales, please welcome Dominic Ballerara. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you. That looks like a great idea. I reckon even I could hang a door that way.